I want to close off by just uh, um, talking about some of the meetings and uh, speaking engagements I've had since my last report. We had the chronic illness, illness and palliative care health fair, which I, I want to commend the health department for doing and, and bringing out uh, all the information on the good work they do. On January 16th, a, a professor from Osgood Hall brought his law students here and I had the opportunity to speak with them, as did Phil, Phil Montour and Dale Bomberry, talking about our administration and also talking about our land rights, because I think it's important to educate mainstream Canadians about what we, who we are and, and uh, why, what our struggles are. I also went to, appeared on the advocacy show on Rogers Cable with Mark Leferrier. And on the 21st of January, I was pleased to go to CKRZ and help them celebrate their 25th anniversary. We also, the Ontario Sustainable Energy Association also presented an award to Six Nations and Matt Jamieson, and it was a prosperity award for our, to highlight our project that we have with Samsung. On January 30th, I, uh, I attended a show in, at the Bay City Music Hall in Hamilton because I, I really want to help promote our, our local artists and our local musicians and that was put on by Jace Martin and uh, we had performances by the bad guys and the Ollivanders who were some local, local musicians that we have and I think we should really get out and support them. As I said, we had the uh, press launch for the Pan Am Games and on February 3rd I attended the um, Canadian Council for Aboriginal Business Gala in Toronto along with Councillor Daryl Hill. We were guests of Union Gas for that. And last week I was in Toronto to meet with Minister McCharles and Minister uh, uh, Zimmer on the uh, roundtable on the Aboriginal Child and Youth Strategy. We're also starting to sit and meet with the uh, First Nations Liaison Committee that the City of Brantford has established. And we're looking at uh, things that we can work on together that's going to benefit both our communities. And we're going to ensure that we have regular meetings and that hopefully we can come up with something. We had our Youth and Elders groundbreaking and, uh, last week. And in addition, I also have regular meetings with Mayor Friel, Mayor Eddy, and MPP Dave Levac and MP Phil McCollman, just to have that relationship with each other, to keep in touch with what's going on and how we can help and support each other. And as I said, I've just returned from Thunder Bay where I attended the planning session on missing and murdered Indigenous women and men. Some of the upcoming events, I was just saying that I have, uh, since I've been elected, which is almost uh, a year, uh, well over a year, I'm almost halfway through my term, I've only taken six days off. So I'm taking a well-earned, I think, anyway, holiday next week. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break. Uh, and during that time next week, or, or tomorrow, in fact, our Health Foundation is having a gala. I encourage people to attend that. And next Friday, uh, the Kahawi Dance Theatre will be doing, uh, celebrating their 10th anniversary at the uh, Sanderson Centre, kicking off this milestone with the Transmigration National Tour. So I encourage people to attend that. Uh, when I return at the end of the month, uh, February 23rd, I'm, I will be in Toronto with the Good Roads Convention. I won't be at the convention itself, but I will be attending a meetings that we have lined up with a number of provincial cabinet ministers, including the Minister of Child and Youth Services, the Minister of Energy, the Minister of ECDEV and, and, um, and Infrastructure, and uh, the Minister of um, Climate and Environment. We're trying to get a meeting with him. So we've got a number of meetings and staff are still working on that. The Chiefs of Ontario will also be holding a health forum at the same time. And in March, the beginning of March, we'll have the Regional Director General of Indian Affairs here. We're going to be talking to her about a number of issues. And on March 5th, I want to remind everybody that Cindy Blackstock, who's the Executive Director of the First Nations Child and Ca Family Caring Society of Canada, will be at Polytech to make a presentation to our community. She is an excellent speaker, and I encourage people to attend. And in March 9th to 12th, myself, uh, Councillor Daryl Hill, and Matt Jameson will be attending what is called the Res 2015 Economic Development Conference, and it's going to be held in Las Vegas. And uh, this is an important event, I think. It's a, it's a conference, it's a gathering of North American tribal leaders to facilitate networking with each other and with top CEOs from public and private companies to explore partnerships and vis business development opportunities. Uh, we're hoping that we can establish some networks and maybe meet with some of the tribes in the United States, like the Seminoles, and uh, interest them in uh, maybe getting into joint ventures with Six Nations. Past conferences have attracted nearly 4,000 attendees from across the U.S. and Canada. 
and it also features four days of training and business development programming which I think would be beneficial to us and there's two days of the largest Native American business trade show. I have attended this in the past at my own expense and I feel that it's important that our, our chair of our ECDEV committee and our ECDEV director you know take part in this conference so that we can uh, you know look at uh, beneficial opportunities that and economic opportunities that could help benefit our community. Um, the cost for this for us to attend this this conference including the registration fee and the air and the uh, hotel is only about uh, 2,000 a little over 2,000 each for each of us to attend and when you compare that to conferences in Toronto or Ottawa I think it's uh, it's probably least uh, less expensive so you know we find that beneficial that we're going to take part in that and then I and, and then I just want to mention the Pan Am Games coming up in July 10th to 26th and Planet Indigenous and the Underworld under 19 World Lacrosse Tournament that will be here in September uh, which will precede the World Lacrosse Tournament that will be in Onondaga Lastly, I want to extend congratulations again to Johnny Paulus, who was awarded the Brantford Sports Person of the Year by the Brantford Sports Council last week. Johnny is really a shining star for us, and uh, you know I'm really proud of all of his achievements. I also want to acknowledge and congratulate Brandon Montour, who was drafted by the Anaheim Ducks of the NHL last year, and he's currently at the University of Massachusetts and was just honored as the Hockey East Rookie of the Month. So congratulations to both those young athletes. We're really proud of you and uh, glad that you're from Six Nations and out there supporting our community. That's it for this month, and uh, I'm going for a good rest, and we'll talk to you in March. Yawa.